everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to make a meatloaf. So let's get started. What we'll need is ground beef. I'm using two to three pounds of ground beef, almost three pounds of ground beef, and it's 85.15. I'm also using Ritz crackers. You can use day old bread if you like, but I like the taste of Ritz crackers in this. And also two to three eggs, Worcestershire sauce, ketchup, salt, black pepper, onion powder, yellow mustard, a medium chopped up green bell pepper, also a medium chopped up red bell pepper, and onion. We'll also be adding in Lipton onion soup mix, and that's for flavor. And then to bring the flavor up more, we're going to use a packet of Hidden Valley Ranch Dip Mix. Oh, also three fourths to one cup of milk. So let's get started. First, we're going to add in our peppers and onions like so. Sorry about the plate in the way, but we're going to add in our peppers and onions like so. Move that to the side. And like I said, I'm going to be eyeballing all everything that I add in here today, but the, the measurements will be in the description below. Next, we're going to add in three eggs. I kind of only want to put two eggs in here, but I'm going to do three. Three nice size eggs. Move that out of the way. Now I'm going to add in my breadcrumbs. I'm not going to add all of them in right away. I may add some more. Well, I will go ahead and add them, almost all of them in. There we go. Add in our breadcrumbs. Set that to the side. And I'm just eyeballing like our mustard, I may not even add mustard. Well, I'm gonna add a little mustard in here because I want the taste in here. I'm always wishy-washy, iffy, iffy. <laughs> am I gonna do it, am I not gonna do it? So we added our mustard. We're gonna season it up to taste. I'm gonna leave the measurements in the description box below. I'm gonna put enough seasoning here so you can actually taste this food and taste the seasonings. I'm gonna add in some garlic powder. I'm sorry, some onion powder. I do apologize, onion powder. <laughs> uh, also add in our Worcestershire sauce. Oh Lord, did I not open it? There we go. Oh, it's not open. Well, <laughs> I'm going to hold on. Give me one second. Okay, we're back. <laughs> Adding our Worcestershire sauce. And that's going to bring out really good a really good flavor in this meatloaf. I'm going to add in a little bit of ketchup. and some salt. Okay. The last two things we're gonna add is a packet of our Lipton soup mix. This, the flavor in this is gonna be so good. It's gonna be so good. And the last thing is our ranch dip mix. Now, here comes the real fun part. I'm gonna move this out the way and you're gonna have to put your hands into this. But because I don't want to touch this ground beef <laughs> and all this stuff, I'm going to put on my gloves and get to working. Oh, 
And see, the thing about these type of gloves here, they'll slip right on off your hands. So you want to start working all of this seasoning into the meat. However, you do not want to overwork your meat. And one thing I did not do was add in my milk because I just put my hand in there and I felt, felt how stiff and dry this was. You don't want to overwork your meat and get it all stiff and then it cooks up and it's nice and dry. And then you just, you know, waste all of your ingredients on this meatloaf that's stiff and dry. And you know what? I may have to take my gloves off because I'm not with the constant pulling the glove back up kind of thingy. But I'm trying to incorporate all of this into the meat so every bite will be delicious. Now, once you get it all incorporated and mixed well, that's when you can put it over into your loaf pan. However, on this particular day, <laughs> I found out that my loaf pan has sprouted legs and gone bye-bye. No, I lost it when I moved. <laughs> so, what I'm going to do, now that I got this all nicely incorporated, is I'm going to transfer it over to a pan that I have setting aside, and I'm going to fill this up into a nice meatloaf. That's the goal. <laughs> so, without further ado, let's pause this and get our pan. Okay, we're back and I've taken the time, I've taken my gloves off and I've taken the time to try to shape out <laughs> my meatloaf. And it's a little loose, looser than what I want, but I'm hoping and praying, we're gonna say a prayer, amen, that it don't <laughs> mush and fall apart inside the oven. But I kind of got it in a nice little meatloafy shape. Meatloafy. <laughs> I kind of got it into a nice little shape we're working with here. And um, yeah, the next time I make one of these bad babies, I'm going to actually have my, another pan. But all is not lost. We're going to form it up. See, I don't like that. It's like a little loose. Probably should have put a little more crackers in there. But nevertheless, this is what we're working with. See, ta-da! Nice size pan. It's not perfect. Don't judge me. <laughs> but you get the gist. Look at how pretty it is. Those red bell peppers, the onions, the green bell peppers. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get ready. My oven is already preheated to 350 degrees. And what I'm going to do is place this in the oven. It's going to cook for about 45 minutes to an hour. Then we're going to take it out and we're going to put our glaze on it. Okay, see you in a bit. Okay, I'm back. And right now, while the meatloaf is cooking, I want to go ahead and make up the sauce that we're going to be putting on top of the meatloaf and when it's almost done, probably about the last 15 minutes or so in the cooking process, we're gonna bring the meatloaf out and add the sauce on top and then we're gonna let it go back in the oven to cook the remainder of the time. So we're gonna take some brown sugar and it depends on how sweet you want. I'm just gonna use like two tablespoons, maybe three. But my two to three tablespoons on here is going to look way more than two to three tablespoons as I like this to be more sweet than salty. Because what we're going to do is we're going to try, well, we're not going to try. We're going to make this sauce a combination of sweet and the salty taste on top of this meatloaf. And it's going to be really, really good. So to the brown sugar, we're going to add like a half a cup. If you want more, you can add more, a half a cup of ketchup. We're just adding that on into our brown sugar. Now here's the part that's like optional. I'm going to do it because I saw someone else do it. 
At this point, I'm going to mix this up and turn it into, it's going to turn into a glaze. So we're going to stir this in and you can add mustard if you want. Right now, I'm just going to add in my Worcestershire sauce. And like I said, it's going to be the sweet taste mixed with the salty taste, but it's going to be so, so good when it's all said and done. This is going to taste so good on top of this meatloaf. And we're just going to mix that in, get all those lumps mixed in really good. And I'm going to add just a little bit of mustard to this. And like I said, this it smells so good, and this is going to taste so delicious on top of your meatloaf. You're going to let this cook on top, and it's going to bring out the flavor of everything. Trust me. You'll thank me later. <laughs> Add a little mustard in there. A little taste of mustard. And just give it a stir. And, you know, you can add more brown sugar if you want a little more sweet taste to it. You can add more brown sugar. But all you need to do is just keep stirring this up. Get all those lumps out of there. And this is what the glaze is going to look like on top of your meatloaf. And it's going to be so delicious. So I'll see you back after this meat, the meatloaf has cooked up until the last 15 minutes. And then we'll add this glaze. Okay, so we're back. And here's the meatloaf. You can see it's out of the oven. We got 15 more minutes to go. I'm going to check our meat to make sure it's done. And see, it's past 160. You just need your meatloaf to be at 160. It's at 170. Ooh, that's hot. Woo. <laughs> so that lets me know right now that this meatloaf is done. However, we still need to put this delicious glaze on top. So what I'm going to do... I'm going to take the time to pour this over and we're going to sit it back in the oven for the last 15 minutes of this cook time. And when we come back, we're going to let it rest, take it out, let it rest. And then we're going to have some good, delicious meatloaf. Get this over here. Get this over here just like this. Make sure it covers all down. You want it nice and covered. And some is gonna, of course, it's gonna get down in your pan, but you want to cover your meatloaf with this glaze so it'll cook and it'll be a nice glaze on the outside. And it's gonna taste so good. So my neat little cracked on one side. <laughs> the crack sensation. But anywho, this is looking so good, so delicious. I'm not going to put all of it on here, but this is, you all get the gist of it. It's so good, so bomb. Oh, it's hot though, but that's what it's looking like right there. I'm going to sit this back in the oven for about 10 minutes. 10 to 15 more minutes and then we'll take it out okay okay so now it's time to turn off this oven and I'm going in to take out my meatloaf <laughs> and there it is nice and done let me turn this light on maybe I'll show it a little better let me hold this right <laughs> Get this towels, these towels set up so I can hold this just right without burning myself. So, this is what the meatloaf is looking like. We have a little the sauce kind of burned in the pan, but still, that's going to happen because it's brown sugar. But this is what the meatloaf is looking like. See that? Nice and delicious and glazed and juicy. So what I'm going to do is sit, let it sit for about, let it rest for a few minutes, and then I'm going to slice into it. Okay? All right. 
Okay, I'm back. And as you can see, I cut some slices off of the meatloaf. What we thinking? Look at that. And it's so juicy and so nice. And look at that glaze on it. Oh yeah, it tastes so good. It tastes so good. You know, I'm, I'm a big fan of, you know, eating with your eyes first. And I'm telling you, this is like ecstasy. Yeah, this is so delicious looking and it tastes so good and it's so juicy. I wanna thank you all again for joining me and watching me prepare this lovely meatloaf meal. Please like, share, and subscribe to my channel and tell everyone just what I'm doing over here. Thank you. Bye.